So OpenAI has just unveiled GBT 5.2, which it's billing as its most advanced frontier model yet for everyday professional use. Better at things like long, multi-step tasks, such as coding, spreadsheets, document analysis, with far fewer hallucinations, according to the engineers who built it. Now, it's rolling out both in the consumer chatbot and via the API for enterprise customers. It also lands, as you said, on the same day as a new billion-dollar investment and Sora content deal with Disney. Fiji Simo, one of OpenAI's high-profile hires out of Meta, told a small group of us a short time ago that this recently declared Code Red is actually a normal part of the company's playbook, essentially marshalling resources around one key priority. Simo said that this release has been months in the making. But I will say this, Kelly, under the hood, Code Red, this new phase of the company, looks more like incremental tune-ups than moonshot bets. GBT 5.2 is a faster, smarter update, but it's not GBT 6, and it's not the kind of step change that we saw with Google's Gemini 3. It's also not immediately obvious how a billion dollars and a couple hundred Disney characters in Sora really changed that core model race that it is fighting against Google. But Altman actually made the case on our air this morning that the real bet here is on owning more of the stack, including an in-house AI chip that he says should drive down the cost per token. That's currently our best proxy for what it costs to run these models.